morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday chat with Father Pat. Um, Father, uh, today's the day we kind of look at what's going on this weekend at the church. And I know today and this weekend is first Friday and first Saturday. And I know you want to talk a little bit about um, um, uh, a couple of, uh, of the readings that we have coming up this weekend and, and what they have to do with this time of year. Yeah. So, um, so this is uh, today's first Friday, tomorrow's first Saturday. So we have our normal uh, first Friday, first Saturday devotion masses. Um, so uh, the healing mass tonight, uh, we'll start with praise and worship at seven o'clock, uh, followed by the healing mass. Uh, before the healing mass, we have starting at 5.30, a, a special set of devotion prayers for the sacred heart of Jesus. Uh, that is what we celebrate on first Friday. Uh, so I always like to say Friday is the uh, is the, the second most important day of the week. Sunday is the most important, the day that our Lord resurrected from the dead, but Friday is the second most important day, uh, the day that he, he was crucified and, and died, his passion. And, and particularly first Fridays we set aside uh, to remember his, his sacred heart, the great love he had uh, for us uh, through his, his crucifixion and death. And so we, we start at 5.30 with uh, uh, some pr special uh, prayers for the Sacred Heart of Jesus, uh, praise and worship music at seven, followed by the healing mass. And then um, it will expose the Blessed Sacrament, um, have more prayers, do evening prayer uh, after the healing mass. And then we go into an all night adoration. So we have uh, sentinels, uh, a couple of people that have signed up to be with us each hour of the night, uh, throughout the night. So everybody's invited to come out anytime uh, throughout the night and just join us in a little uh, prayer in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, then tomorrow morning, uh, we'll have confessions starting at 7.30. Uh, our first Saturday devotions will kick off at 7.45. We'll have our normal Saturday morning mass at 8.30, which includes morning prayer, and then followed by... Uh, uh, more first Saturday devotions uh, leading to uh, it'll conclude about 10 o'clock. So um, a time of just uh, prayer and celebration, celebrating the Eucharist and the mass both uh, tonight with the healing mass tomorrow with our first Saturday mass um, and times of adoration, times of special devotion prayers uh, for first Friday and first Saturday. But of course, this is Independence Day weekend, right? So Sunday, we celebrate the uh, the 4th of July, and we celebrate in particular here on the 4th of July, our freedoms. And, you know, we particularly look at, at that freedom is the freedom to, to do God's will. That's that's really what the freedom is about for each of us to be able to, to exercise what God is calling us to do. And uh, somewhat coincidentally, the um, the readings this this Friday and tomorrow, uh, Saturday, uh, all are about uh, God calling the Christ, calling the apostles. Uh, today's reading here on this Friday, the thirteenth week of ordinary time, uh, the reading is the call of Matthew, and then tomorrow, July third, we always celebrate the feast of Saint Thomas. So here we hear about the calling of both. Uh, uh, St. Matthew and St. Thomas, two of the apostles. And so it, it's, it's just a good reminder here as we reflect on our freedoms and the meaning of our freedoms, uh, our call to, to become apostles. And we've been talking about that a lot in the parish. And uh, this weekend, it's, it's a good time for us to stop and talk, think about how God is calling us to be an apostle. What is an apostle? Apostle is someone who makes disciples, who, who talks about their faith and talks to others and invites others uh, to, to participate in the faith and just shares the joy of, of our faith with others. And we're all called uh, to do that. And we especially here in this country, we, we honor the freedoms we have to be able to do that, to be able to uh, talk to others about our faith, to invite others to our faith and, and, and to talk about the, the significance that our faith has in our life and the life of our country. So a great weekend here to, uh, uh, to pray and reflect 
on the freedoms we have and how God is calling us to become apostles. You and I have talked about the uh, uniqueness that the Catholic Church has in coming out of the pandemic and uh, and uh, sort of setting ourselves apart by being able to offer the Eucharist, the real presence of Christ that that others uh, other churches don't don't have that same opportunity. And one of the one of the ways that um, we uh, um, we celebrate the Eucharist and adore the Eucharist is with the uh, maybe more opportunities for adoration. This is one of those weekends when we'll have the opportunities for adoration. You uh, talked a moment um, um, about, uh, and you used a term that I'd like for you to explain to, to folks who may not know, and that is the word sentinel. Can you tell everyone what a, a sentinel is? Huh. So a sentinel, that's, that's, that's a biblical word, right? Of someone who keeps guard, who, 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 who watches over something, and you would have sentinels throughout the night, watching over the town, watching over the village. And, and so we have uh, uh, at least two men uh, each hour of the night that have agreed to come for adoration to watch over the Blessed Sacrament. Of course, we always want when we expose the Blessed Sacrament to have someone there all the time in front of it. Uh, but it also, being overnight, it provides us with a little protection. It provides us with a little comfort uh, there, there in the church. And so you know that someone will be there with you if you come and pray some hour during the night that there will at least be two of the men of our parish there with you. Anyone welcome at, and at whatever hour they so choose, correct? Right. It, you can come at any time uh, it, to pray. Uh, men have signed up for a particular hour. And if you didn't get the uh, times, uh, and all that's going on today and tomorrow, those are listed in, in this flock note. Father, uh, thanks for uh, for being with us. We'll talk to you again on, uh, well, sometime next week. We may not be together on Monday since it's a holiday, but uh, we'll talk about that. And if not Monday, then Friday. All right, we'll see you. Bye-bye.